Hey everybody, it's Flake. I have never really done a video of uh, busting open a booster box, so I figured let's give it a shot. I had a chance at getting a so so price on a few booster boxes, so I bought some. And the first one that I wanted to dive into was M19. M19 is not exactly the most uh, illustrious of sets, so I figured why not? We got a good shot at it. There's some cards in there that I wanted to get a, hand, uh, a hold of, stuff like Vivian Reed Sarkin and stuff like that. There's some goodies in there that are worthwhile, uh, you know, taking a shot at, rolling the dice. So we went ahead and busted it open uh, live on stream on uh, the 27th of November. So uh, all the prices, et cetera, the excitement is all for that particular day. And here was that experience. So this booster box bust, as we center the actual box, is of M19. Uh, as you can see, sealed and ready to go. Uh, I don't know what particularly I'm looking out of this besides the actual fun factor that we're going to have in just busting this bad boy open. M19, not my favorite set. I don't, uh, however, it is definitely a set that uh, I own. So that's why we're opening it. Ugh. So as we peel away the delicious protection from it, any predictions, I don't really know right off the bat. But I know that I'm going to have myself a grand old time. Ooh, that fresh, beautiful pack smell. Let's get these bad boys out of here. Let's do this the right way. Which is put everything on the side, say goodbye to the box, and we're good. Alright, there we go. So with the countdown, here it is. All the packs of M19. Now I don't really have a style of opening packs. I just know that there's... Uh, some people have the way that they like to do it, but we're probably going to make sure that we keep everything else uh, pretty much good. Act of Treason, Daybreak, uh, Chaplain, Oakenform, Thornhide, the Pegasus Corsair, Smelt, Druid of the Cowl. Apparently we're uh, going down the three color road here. Uh, we'll put that there. The Snapping Drake. I should probably also get rid of the tokens. Goblin tokens kind of cool. Uh, and the Highland Lake. But uh, we'll drop in with some blue action, uh, Snapping Drake, Ages of Heavens. And here comes the, uh, this is where, yeah, so there's our Uncommon with Ages of Heavens, Arcane Encyclopedia. It's not quite a, a suspicious bookcase, but we can treat it as such. No black cards, apparently. And the rare being, whoop, oh my goodness. Well, we hit the, uh, we hit our first mythic, which is nice. Palladia, Moore's the Ruiner. That's a nice one to start off with. Uh, good start with there, along with a Gargoyle Sentinel foil. So good for us on that note. Let's keep the uh, foily up there. Do the rest the, uh, the good way. Okay, well, I'll take that. I'm uh, not upset. I'll actually keep the foil over. Let's do this the right way. All right, big hit off the top. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Ugh. Forgot how satisfying uh, opening actual cards are, absolutely. It's a different feeling than opening them on screen. You can touch them, you can feel them, you can bend them, you can break them, you can lose them. It's a whole different thing. All right, let's get rid of the trash, the extra stuff there. Uh, Goblin Instigator, a Dwarven Priest. Dwindle, still no black cards. Uh, Fire Elemental, there we go. The first one is a Child of Night. Throw that one over there. And a Bog Stomper. And a Sky, uh, Sky March Blood Letter. So apparently all the uh, black cards kind of just grouped up in that way. Explosive Apparatus. Cavalry Drill Master. Here we go. Spark Tongue Dragon. Now the fun stuff, like a Johnny's Welcome. Like Reclamation Sage. Like Lightning Strike. Now this is a card that uh, you'd think you'd, has been... It's been printed, I believe, three times or so. But uh, you can never have enough of them. Even if the uh, the one in Ixalan actually has different art, but uh, and the rare being Transmogrifying Wand, an excellent, amazing rare. This is a fun uh, part of the fun but not playable category. It's all good. Keep going. Boom. All right. A zombie and a tranquil expense. Sure, no problem. Talarian Scholar. I've got. The Onaki Ogre. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Onaki, not Unagi, from uh, Ross's Martial Arts Discipline. Uh, Bristling Boar. Epicure of Blood is one of those cards I used to like. I, I like drafting because I always have these grand, uh, grand visions of using all kinds of interesting life gain, life loss uh, tactics. But I have, won a, I have won a game off of an interesting uh, tactic with this card. Uh, in a draft game, and it was a, uh, it was in uh, response. I used some other card to uh, gain me life. He popped off, and it was a 
Good time all around. Blood Divination. Psychic Corrosion. Part of the mill package. Aerial Engineer. Let's see, uh, dual color. Ooh, and the Patient Rebuilding. And Colossal Dreadball. Well, there it is. There's Steve, as he's uh, so eloquently known, in shiny format. So we'll throw him over here with the other shiny. Beautiful, beautiful card. There we go. Shiny Steve. A wonderful, shiny Steve. Perfect. Let's crack this bad boy open. Dum -dum. Ooh, the hostile minotaur. Because there's, you know, the nice ones and then there's the hostile ones. A knight, a stone quarry. Hostile minotaur. Knight's pledge. Anticipate. Another child of night. Uh, the greenwood sentinel. Sure. Lich's caress. Sure. Manolith. Throw that bad boy there. Uh, take vengeance, they say. Ghost form and electrify. And then we get to the fun ones, which is fiery finish. Target creature, not face. Don't forget. Dire graph ghoul. Psy uh, the psychic symbiont. And the rare being death baron. Death baron is not a bad card. We could play with that. We can certainly play with that. Let's go crackaroo over here. Boom, boom. Alrighty. Let's get rid of the joyful things in the back. Meandering River. No mythics yet, but we'll get there. Oh, no, we did hit one. I'm silly. Uh, Act of Treason. Nice Knight's Pledge. Very valiant banner waving over there. The Talons of Wildwood. Macabre Waltz is okay. Here's one that pisses me off for a long time. The uh, Viachino Pyromancer. Like drafting that card. Uh, Root Snare. Uh, let's just cruise through these. The Bogart Brute. Thud. There's a fun card to play. Diamond Mare. A beautiful looking card, frankly. Diamond Mare really just looks pretty cool. I like looking at that card. Uh, Heroic Reinforcements. Now this is a card that has kicked my ass several times. And Lathless Dragon Queen. All right. Let's cruise, baby. Let's cruise. Lots of delicious cards to go. Again, if you're watching this video, I am not on camera for uh, certain reasons, but again, I represent myself right here. Perfect. Ooh, there is an Ajani emblem. I do not believe I own one of those. Uh, ooh, just a boring old forest. Uh, Knight of the Tusk, okay. Gearsmith Prodigy. Elemental, trusty, rusty, falcon face. There he is, plummet, two-headed zombie. Uh, Centaur Corsair. The Neonate. See, this is the Neonate's the one that I was doing with the uh, Epicure. Uh, just put those two together and have fun in a draft. Uh, whoops, I just cruised through some of these. I didn't want to. Double cast, fun cards. Guild Animator, sure. Reassembling Skeleton. And the rare being Schwing. Fraying Omnipotence. As you wish. Alright, let's grab off the right pile. <coughs> Excuse me. Crush, crush, crush. Open this bad boy. These are ugh, having some trouble. Not eating my vegetables. Damn, this one just didn't want to come open. There must be some solid value that's just ready to be exploded. There's a nice angel. Get rid of the uh, wooden stream as well. Revitalize. Sure. Comfortable chill. Catalyst elemental. The hired blade. Highland game. All right. Let's just curse through the commons. I don't think anyone really cares about those. Recollect or recollect in case you want to collect again. Uh, put that there. Sleep sounds nice. The Volcanic Dragon and our rare being. One with the Machine and the rare. Oh, and a Gearsmith Prodigy of the Foil variety. Perfect. Let's go back to the middle. Middle row seems to be the money row. Could be wrong. It seems good. All right. Breeze through the commons again. If there's anything I see that's interesting, I'll let you know. Frilled Sea Serpent, all right. Hired Blade again. Uh, rabbit Bite, good removal card. Another Manolith. Perfect Ghost Form shirt. Sure. All right, here we go. Rapture Spire, or the Rupture Spire, rather. That is a land, an uncommon land. I'll throw that over there. Uh, Ajani's Pride Mate. This is a card that I didn't have as many as I wanted to, but we found him. Let's put that there. The Grave Digger. Oh, am I missing out here? Thorn Lieutenant. 
That's a cool card to have. And what am I missing? That's the rare, which means... Did we get... Uh... Oh, no, we didn't pull the stuff out of the back. That's my own fault. Silly Flake. Tricks are for kids. All right, let's go off the right pack. Hoorah. Still waiting for those beautiful, wonderful Sarkin or Vivian Reed or Ajani. We want those planes, uh, Planeswalkers to come out. Scholar of Stars. Throw this bad boy over here. Tormenting Voice. Sure. Let's cruise through these. Rocks Oracle. The Marauder Axe. Um, Essence Scatter. Naturalize. Come on. We want, to, we want to hit some big stuff here. Stitcher Supplier. I think that the fun part's going to be in the next... Uh, is not going to be necessarily in this... Uh, in M19. Uh, all right, Enigma Drake. Now we're getting to some stuff that actually is playable these days. Uh, Dried Green Seeker. I was actually, someone played that against me the other day. Uh, all right, and the Runic Armasaur. And I think there's a foil behind there. No, it's a land. I thought we got rid of those things. All right, maybe I'm losing my mind. Did I do this wrong? I did this wrong. You go here, you go here. All right, let's go left pile. Some pretty good stuff in here. Nick Bolas, Vivian Reed, Resplendent Angel uh, are pretty good uh, that I can grab out of here for sure. We gotta find them, right? Those are some solid, delicious cards. All right, an ox, sure, because you never have enough of those. And a plains, all right, we got rid of those. Let's go, Trumpet Blast. The Pack Beast, the Omen Speaker, Lava Axe, Talons of Wildwood, Duress, Ball of Vines. Uh, Luminous Bonds, Luminous Bonds, Luminous Bonds. I should let that focus. All right, uh, the Marauder Axe. Now we get to the fun stuff right after this. Another Essence Scatter. The Aether Tunnel. The Vine Mare. People love this guy. And the Surge Mare. Okay, a couple of horsies and swing. Valiant Knight. There he is, building over there. All right, let's find our big money card. This is the one. This is definitely the pack that I'm feeling is going to just change my my fortunes here as soon as we get rid of the Knight and the Foul Orchard so that the Nickel Bolas is in the back. All right, get rid of that. Another Lava Axe, Highland Game, sure. Cruise through these. All right, Electrify. And what do we got here? Land and Vanguard. It's not bad. Murder. Good draft card. Murder. Uh, Gargoyle Sentinel and Schwing. Hunter, uh, the Hungering Hydra. She's so hungry. All right, let's grab another one going here. Hoorah. We gotta find a ritual to open some good stuff with some actual good luck going. Some type of like, you know, Rain Dance, but for opening magic cards. All right, cancel, sure, sure, strike. Child of Night. Like the thing about this uh, this set, I find is like even the uncommons, there's no real big hits. I could be wrong on that. Maybe I'm just forgetting one or two. But M19 seems kind of weak. It seems like you either hit the big stuff. There's there's no in between really. You either strike out or you can you know get some good stuff, but. Um, uh, the Enchanter and Sift and the last one being oh now we're talking I told you this was the good one there is uh, Lady Viv that's a, that's a card that we definitely absolutely were hunting for and looking for feeling that one absolutely thumbs up on that good stuff boom liking that one liking that one don't have to go, and, go out and get one myself now perfect so whatever Rain dance that we did in our mind, we'll do it again. But that's uh, some solid love right there. That'll come out in a Golgari deck or a big green or something. I don't know. Okay. Knight of the Tusk. Infectious Hora. Why am I putting Anticipate here? What is going on? I right, feel the creeper. This card over here, the art on that card just seems really. It's it's very kind of nightmare before Christmas uh, Christmas ish, and I really dig it. Another pyromancer, sure. Another rabbit bite. Why not? More biting, actually. Sovereign's bite. Rabbit bite, sure. Artificer. Brawl bash ogre. And here it comes. Here's the nickel bolus. Not quite. Ooh, bane fire. Bane fire is a good card to have. 
I do have a full playset. I bought these before um, guilds came out, and they were like right when M nineteen hit. I believe I bought a playset of them for like a dollar each, and uh, now they seem to have gone up because a lot of people are just dumping Banefire in their decks. Um, I know I play a few because it's just fun as hell. You're talking to someone who used to play like a, a control black deck that had uh, Torment of Hailfire kind of as a finisher. And once that sort of rotated out, you got to look for something else that's equally as fun. Banefire is the way to go. We like Banefile. All right. Let's see here. Got to find those uncommon value too, right? Got to find something in there. There's no like Curious Obsessions like in Ixalan or, or you know, there are Fatal Pushes back in the day for an Aether Revolt. Like there's no big uncommon cards i find like out of this or like storm uh tamer you know birdie face whatever his name is all right bristling boar hired blade again sure spores uh axe shock shock totally lost there we go all right there's the guide enlightening mare diagraph cool looks like this is going to be a good one Whoop. and vivian's invocation not quite as good as i thought all right cool no problem it's another card I believe I have a lot of. That was uh, when I got the first pre-release pack. I bought two. That was uh, in one of them, which was nice. This is nice art. I ended up giving it away as like a viewer giveaway thing. Okay. A bat, eh? Sure. And planes, sure. All right. Uh, Gearsmith Prodigy. Go with the other ones. Elemental. Animation, sure. Titanic growth. Come on now. Infectious Horror. If you don't say Infectious Horror with a little bit of British stank on it, it doesn't count. Infectious Horror. Luminous Bonds. Luminous Bonds. Oops. Did I just bump the camera with my head? I did. I'll take a picture of this setup after you guys will laugh. All right. Colossal Majesty. And what do we find? Schwing. Phylactery Lich. Over there. It's indestructible. Did you know that? Okay. Swing. So we got two mythics out of here so far. One of them is Viv Reed, so I'm not upset. I think that's a great uh, card to grab. A kitty cat, sure. And a mountain. Sensing some Ajanage in here. A Johnny or a dragon. Feeling one of the two. It's going to be a nice one, I promise you. It's going to be good. Gallant Cavalry, Sky Scanner. Get out of here. All right, there's the shield mare. So we're getting down the pony route. That is a very interesting art on this one over here. I don't know if you can see that a little better without it shining too hard, but that looks a little bit sexy on there. Vampire Sovereign, cool card. All right, and Schwing, Graveyard Marshal. That's not a terrible card. All right, let's roll. Let us roll. Zong Boyd. Coming in with the island face. All right, disperse. Goblin motivation. Trusty pack sauce. Giant spider. The epicure of blood. There he is. Deviation pioneer. Okay. Let's just cruise. Nothing to see here. Skeleton. There's the millstone. The regal blood lord. Sure. Hey, my boy, gutter snipe. Here's a little good card. Play this guy in my is it deck just for some fun this guy kind of craps all over our control deck because no one wants to deal with him and omniscience i think that this is a pretty good card right you may uh, cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs sounds good to me dog let's do that boom all right well the feeling we had was not of a johnny but uh it was actually of a mythic variety all right Beast, go away. Swamp, sure. All right. As we bust through this stuff. I'm going to organize it now because Lord knows this is all going to end up a pot on a pile in my coffee table. And it's going to sit there for weeks without me uh, putting them away. So might as well do it now. Uh, our foliage is not exactly as uh, awesome as I thought it would be right now. All right. Robed gloves, sure. The reliquary tower. Get that over there with the other stuff. Exclusion mage and swing. Ooh, sigiled uh, sword of Valorum. He's a knight. You're a wizard, Harry. All right, so we're up to three mythics so far. That's not so bad. We're halfway through, so I guess that's a pretty good clip. Three mythics in uh, halfway through our box, so 
Submerged Boneyard. That sounds rated R. The fact that I named the, uh, named this land, or I said the title out loud, might actually have to change the rating of this video. Sure Strike. All right, come on now. I'm feeling some good mojo off this one. Here is, again, this is, I would have this on a t-shirt for sure. It's a great art piece of art. Some Steve. Scatter, naturalized, sure. Valdi Veteran. Surge Mare, some Sea Ponies. Uh, Skyrail Patrol, and whoop. Wind Reader Sphinx. Meh. Meh. All right. Let's keep buzzing through. Fun stuff. Zomboid. I've got planes. Uh, all right. Let's crush through. Now, the cool thing about the, like, the 15 card booster has two essentially useless cards. Between the token and the land, you're not exactly all that, so you're getting 13 cards, really. I was used to growing up playing other card games that had nine card booster packs, so 15 is, seems still to this day like a treat, even though that's what I'm used to now, 15 uh, cards in a pack, but damn, son, do I uh, like that extra little amount of uh, juice there. All right, make a stand, poison tip archer, come on now. Ooh, baby, 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 there he is. That's another one we're looking for, Sarkin Fireblood. I don't know how many packs of M19 I've opened and never even seen this thing in play, but uh, this is a great card to throw in, uh, even in an Is It deck. For, it comes out for three, and you can kind of go out and cast your Niv-Miz at the next turn. Uh, I think that this is a big-time hit. Loving that draw right there. So far, this box has been pretty good. Uh, between the Viv Reed and the Sarkin, I'm actually quite happy. I think that even Omniscience could be a, a decent pull. But um, yeah, we're uh, looks like we're firing all cylinders for now. I'm happy with this so far. Liking it. Ooh, flip card, sure. All right, let's see what kind of deliciousness that the rest of this box holds for us. Not bad EV on these. Uh, I think Viv Reed, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm thinking in Canadian dollars. That's where I live in, in Canada. So uh, when I'm talking about actual like monetary value of some of these cards, I keep feeling like, I think this is like about 30 Viv Reeds in the 20 range or so. So we're getting uh, we're getting a little bit of our money's worth here. All right, uh, Gaspark Twins and the Vigilant Bailoth, sure. Uh, Grave Digger, all right. And the wonderful rare being, Demon of Catastrophes. Uh, this is like my, I believe this is my seventh copy, no kappa on that one, of Demon of Catastrophes. So what do we have behind it? Ooh, a foil island. Digging the foils. Can't say no to a foil land. Liking that. Foil of Johnny says Kane. Well, we haven't really hit our big foil yet, right? We've hit the uncommon foil. Uh, there's usually one or two of those in the box. There's usually also one foil rare, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's usually how that works, like the clip for it. Uh, all right, Timber Gorge. Uncomfortable chill, no problem. Motivationizer. Scholar of the Stars, Rocks Oracle. Cobra Waltz. All right. Infernal Hellion. There is a card that won me a draft uh, tournament once. This bad boy came out and just... Uh, one of the cards I pulled was Sarkins and Ceiling. And then I played that. And then the next turn played the Inferno Hellion. And just... It was... It was quite the... Uh, it was quite the show. I like that. Alright. Plague Mare. Beauty. Uh, and the Horizon Scholar. And... Whoop! Uh, the Lennon War Leader. Not bad, sure. I'll take it. Just clean up our stacks here. All right, so if we want to do a little recap, we actually, uh, we're looking so good over now. I mean, hitting Sarkin in this uh, box, Omniscience. Uh, what else have we got? The Banefire, the Viv Reed. Um, you know, so some good stuff in here in the Palladia. Like, so far, I'm actually quite satisfied with uh, this box because there's not much I need out of this set, right? I got this uh, this box at a, a relative discount, so that's why we just went for it. can make for good good radio, as they say. But uh, the fun part about it is that things that I wanted was Sarkin and Vivreed, and we already hit that. So I'm quite satisfied because, in reality, I'd probably be paying, if I wanted to get the cards out of this set that I was looking for, I'd probably be playing close to uh, that just for those two cards. So, 
I'm happy about it. All right, uncomfortable chill. Let's just cruise through these again. Trusty, rusty. No, it's not even go there. Dures. But in terms of actual value on your other cards, like your uncommons, your commons, you kind of want to hope to cry, hit a few things that are nice there. But true to the horns, not so much. The ravenous harpy is all that fantastic. Declare dominance. It's a brutalized card. Looks just so badass. Uh, I should probably move that a little bit more towards the center. Uh, all right, and what do we got? Swing amulet of safekeeping. All right, I'm not upset about that. Let's say there are worse things in the world. Boom. All right. Let's get rid of the filler. Oh, well, that's a Tezzeret emblem. Can't say no to emblems. Emblems are fun. Meandering River. All right. Tempest Blast. Trusty Pack. Okay. Root Snare. Remember Turbo Fog? Normal Endurance. You go here. Perfect. Swing. Pegasus Corsair. There's another card. That's like a draft card right there. Blanchwood Armor. Naya, novice knight like dropping that bad boy down throwing some blanchwood armor on him siege breaker giant and whoop sarkins in the ceiling just as i was actually talking about this uh one pack ago there it is all right let's pull from the pull from the right set come on come on i'm not this week i swear but uh this might be the nickel bolus pack Let's just uh, have that in our minds. Again, kind of weak on the on the the foils, but uh, I'm not going to be upset about pulling a Sarkin and a Vivian Reed. So, all right, let's dwindle Fire Elemental Mind Rot. Luminous bonds, luminous bonds, luminous bonds, luminous bonds. Uh, Marauder Axe, Essence Scatter. Naturalize, uh, suspicious bookcase. The amount of times I've said this in a weird voice. Uh, I gotta sort of figure out why this the camera keeps going out of focus. So let me see if I can do this another way. Meteor golem and all right, the awakener and child of night foil. All right, okay. The Child of Night foil kind of gets lost because most of the actual artwork is really dark and black, so the foil, you're not really getting much. I don't want to say value on the foil because that seems funny, but like visual value. You're not really feasting on the visuals of that card. All right, um, Soldier and that. All right, cool. Uh, hostile Minotaur. Tusk. Let's cruise through these. The Unagi Ogre, the most dangerous ogre. Another Luminous Bond. Here we go. Skilled Animator. Sleep. It's a vicious card. Volcanic Dragon. Uh, all right. Let's find out what the uh, juice is in this fruit pie. Whoop. Infernal Reckoning. Meh. Oh. Hey. A Foil Enigma Drake. That's a nice hit. That's a beautiful card. That's a playable card. It's a pretty card. I'm sure that this is actually in slight demand. Enigma Drake in the foil variety. I'll take that. I like it. Good stuff there. My amazing strength of kings. Ooh, a dragon. Wink. The forest there. We don't need the lands. All right. Boing. Cruise through the unfun stuff, right? I've seen these a thousand times. Like a skeleton archer. How is that not rare? It's an like it's a it's a dead, un like reanimated sentient being with bow skills it just sounds crazy all right bone to ash tectonic rift all right and the juice card is whoop prodigious growth perfect all right giant ant face let's go down the middle on this one boom boom da, 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 da. come on now easy peasy Another dragon to go along with this mountain over here. Perfect. All right. Mighty leap. Cancel. Sure strike. Let's go through this stuff real fast before we get to the fun stuff. All right. Diamond Mare. See, this is a card that I feel like this would look nice in, uh, in foil, would it not? 
Why can't I get that in foil? Spell Spectre, Mirror Image, and whoop! Gigantosaurus. Big, beefy dude. And behind that is, whoop! Ooh, a Grave Digger. A foil Grave Digger. So we got the big Gigantosaurus dude. He is enormous. A 10 10, 5 mana, ramp him out, go, out, go nuts on turn 3. Forest Landwar Elf. Forest Landwar Elf. Landwar Elf. Win. Uh, okay. Knight. And Island. Okay. Tusky Boy. Prodigy. Alright. Trusty Rusty. Infectious Horror. Another Luminous Bonds. Like the amount of memes personal memes with me and my friends that are come out of here between trusty rusty infectious horror luminous bonds all right recollect thud cool card heroic reinforcements and what do we say what do we say Whoop. mentor of the meek nah no thanks nothing behind it though so if you shake the cards it actually makes them better i don't know if you knew that that's a true fact Ugh. Shake it up. Change the RNG. Alright, it's Cruz. A bat. A stone quarry. Story, allegory, Montessori. Let's go Scholar. Tormenting Voice. Dormant Priest, sure. Cancel that order. Alright, Spark Time. Wall of Vines. Alright, here. Let's find the good stuff. Whoop. Another Recollect. Oops. Ages of Heavens, Draconic Disciple. But behind this card is the Nickel Bolas. Not quite. It's, desecra it's a Desecrated Tomb. But it just means that there's more room for it later. All right, let's rub it here for luck. The luck line there. That's what we needed. Rawr. Come on. Mm -hmm. Lomboid. And the Foul Orchard. Lord of Stress, Plummet, let's cruise through, Electrify. All right, what do we got? And Ajani's Welcome, good for him. Thank you very much, Ajani. The Dryad uh, Speaker, oh, it's a red card. I looked, I peeked. Switcheroo, Spit Flame, that's a Dragon Rare. You like that? All right, I'm gonna mix these all up. Boink. Ruh. Shaken up mixed. There's some good luck left in these packs. There's some gold in, in them there hills, I promise you. Not with an ox though. But we'll get there. If I just cruise through this nonsense, we'll find it. Ugh. Perfect. Here we go. Fiery finish. Another Enigma Drake. We like the Enigma Drakes though. Vampire Sovereign and Schwing. Ooh, a Palooka Worm. Cool. It's a big fat worm. A big fat worm. Come on now. Open up. Don't play big green. Rampy green. Palooka Worm. It's going to have a good time. Mountain. It's got to be a, a mythic left in there, right? Like we can totally think about that. Bruh. All right, while we're getting to the end of this, Rotorax, Bang, Blood Divination, Psychic Corrosion, Gargoyle Sentinel, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Whoop. Ooh, Scape Shift. Hey now, that's a good one. We like Scape Shift, right? Scape Shift's good news. Hey now. Hoorah. All right. Who doesn't like a good scape shift? All right, let's go to the next one. Goblin, thank you for playing. Island Blake, nice to know you. Whoops. Let's cruise through this stuff real fast. Skeleton. Fruit Snare. All right, double cast. That card feels thick. That's why there's one behind it. Okay. Sift, reassembling a skeleton, and 
Gin of Wishes. Eh. Two cards left. Where's the Nickel Bolas? He's in here, right? We found him. He's uh, chilling out. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I know you're in here, Big Daddy. I know you're in here. Boink. Um. Yeah. Had a little brain stall there. Tired Blade. Aether Tunnel. Rise from the Grave. Senor Gutter Snipe and Schwing. Ooh, a Demanding Dragon. Well, there's the dragon. And there's a card behind it, a bonus. Whoop. Ooh, a Foil Cancel. If you want to be shiny. All right, last one, folks. If you flick it, it's bonus luck. Let's go. Let's do this. Get out of here. Not necessary. Not necessary. Let's do this. You, you, got a good feeling about this. Got a good feeling about this. Lane and Vanguard, Gift of Paradise. No foil rare is what uh, the one thing that's uh, interesting. Satyr Enchanter and ah, Dismissive Pyromancer. Okay. Well, there it is. If we want to get uh, to the end of uh, a little recap here, I mean, demanding dragon. Here's uh, we got scape shift, which is nice. Throw that on top. Uh, you know, if you want to look at the uh, the big hits in here. Um, what else we got? Sarkin. We hit him. Real nice. Omniscience. And of course, Lady Vivian. And where is he? He's down here somewhere. Palladia. So it all in all, I mean, there it is for the not bad, perfect. So that's M nineteen box bust uh, today. Of course, the twenty seventh of November. So we'll see if we can uh, actually just do a little calculation as to the EV of a lot of these cards and see what we actually pull out. But uh, booyah, nice haul, and uh, hang tight, and uh, see you soon. So as you see, it was pretty exciting given the fact that we uh, managed to nail down the cards that we wanted, stuff that we wanted to play with, like Sarkin and Vivian, and we actually got some extra goodies with like uh, Scape Shift and you know a cool uh, you know a cool Mythic Dragon. We got ourselves a uh, Banefire and some cool other jargon like that m19 again not exactly the most amazing set but given the fact that we landed a scape shift a sarkin omniscience uh vivian reed and palladia uh not gonna be upset those are some pretty solid mythics to pull out of the uh, out of uh the box no nickel bolas uh, no ajani stuff like that but it's okay because we got what we wanted right and at the end of the day when calculating all the rares that we pulled and the mythics uh essentially on today's value from mtg goldfish uh the total value uh for this entire pull purely from mythics and rares not counting any uh uncommons or foils or whatever the uh the value that we got back from it was 80.07 usd now i'm in canada so i was doing a little bit of conversion on google and whatnot but uh given the fact that we paid 81.19 for it i think that's a solid return purely on um just the mythic and rare value on return now all the other bulk stuff that came with it whatever it's all good the experience itself was worth it so i hope you enjoyed this box opening we got another one down the road we're going to do guilds of rapica next in another video my name is flake and catch me on twitch at twitch.tv slash watch flake or on twitter at watch flake uh or right here on this youtube video so go ahead and like subscribe share do what you got to do and we'll see you soon Take care.